Hi all, this is Chris here with IreadyVB. In this video we're going to be looking at the comment. Uh, we're ba basically what we're doing is we are, when a cell is changed, we are going to uh, add a comment that says who made the change and then um, what the change was. So pretty simple, pretty simple code. Um, it's actually, um, I'm going to be doing this a little bit, a little bit, this is a little bit of a dry run so it's very possible that you will see me kind of screwing up and bumbling around which could be fun for all of you. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our Visual Basic Editor and then we want to typically what we do is we're going to open up a module but in this case what we're going to do is we're actually going to double click on the sheet and this is sheet code. Um, and the way that this sheet code works is if an event happens it kicks off some code. So what are your events? Well <clears throat> if you change the selection that's the one that it does by default. That's actually not the one that we're going to be used. These are all the ones all the events that can trigger different code so really this one it's we're going to use a change um, now we may actually need to use a different one um, but again I'm kind of flying a little bit blind here doing this a little bit on the fly so first thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to dim C as range and really what that is going to be is that is um, we're going to be doing a loop through each of the cells because you can change more than one cells uh, more than one cell at a time uh, for example if you copy and paste um, or at least we will find out. That is, that is an assumption that I'm making right now. Okay, so the other thing we want to do is we want to dim WS's worksheet. I will show you why we're going to do that. Um, it just makes the coding simpler. We're going to do for each C in target. And what we're going to do is this is a simple loop that goes through each cell. So we're going to go if C dot comment is nothing then um, what we're going to do in that case is um, if it's equal to nothing and c dot value is not equal to blank um, then we're going to run some code else we're going to do some else uh, then we got to do an else if so this is actually going to be a fun little project here else if um, so this is going to be is not nothing uh, it might just be not else if Else if okay, it's actually we're gonna get rid of this. It works. Oh, I gotta I gotta add the I gotta add the then. Ha, huh, that's fine. Okay, so is nothing. We need to put our not in here, which is why this wasn't working. Okay, and then we're gonna end if. So we're going to do two different things. Now, the reason the reason this is the case, I actually had to bang my head against the wall a little bit on this because I had to figure out, um, it was giving, throwing out some errors. The reason it was throwing out errors is because I didn't have a comment loaded and a, a comment was not on the cell. And so, because I didn't have a comment um, loaded, I uh, it was trying to add text to something that didn't exist. And so, um, if you have one, uh, this is from the Microsoft MSDN, if you don't have one, you've got to add it. You've got to add it, you've got to make it visible, and you've got to add text. So that's what we're going to do in this first section. So it doesn't exist. So we are going to go, I'm actually going to copy this code. I'm going to just go ahead and pull it over. Um, and this code will actually be in the, be in this, um, be in the, uh, in the description on this video. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go with C dot comment dot oh it's going to be c dot add comment is what it is yep so it's going to be c dot dot add add comment and then with the width you're going to do the end width it's very important that you do those at the same time that way you don't get lost we're going to do dot visible equals true and then we're going to do dot text 
is equal to, uh, actually you don't need to do equal to, you just do the, whatever the text is. The text is going to be, um, we are going to do application dot user username and that's just going to be the name of whoever is actually the owner of Excel on that machine. Typically it's going to be your name, um, if, especially if you're on a work computer. If you're on a home computer it may be like your family name or whatever name you put when you installed uh, Excel. So we got application name and then we're going to do c.value which should be awesome and then I believe that that covers us on that one. So now it's pretty simple actually if we've already got that um, if we already have that that comment on all we have to do is we're basically going to go c dot comment dot text and then we just need to put a space in there we're good to go we're going to go it's going to be application dot username and do space. Oh, you know what? I need to put a space in here. I'm gonna, uh, actually just gonna put a dash in. Sorry if that doesn't make sense, but we had that put together, so uh, there's a dash now, which is great. And whatever the C dot value is. This actually should cover it. Um, what we will, I'm gonna go ahead and run through this real quick. We will actually see if we've actually used the correct event. It's very possible we did not. Um, so, all right, so we're going to come in here, we're going to make a change. First thing I want to do is I want to put a, I'm going to click over here in this left bar. It's going to make the line red. What that is, is it's going to give me a breakpoint just so that I can step through and see what it's doing. So we're going to make a change. We're going to call this test. Okay, we'll see if we have done what we thought. So C comment equals nothing. We know that there's not a comment there. The value is not equal to zero. So that is great. We are going to add a comment. We're going to make it visible. We're going to make that equal to uh, my name and test. And we're going to end that sub because that's the only thing that I, ch I changed. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make that false uh, because I actually don't want that to show up like that. Um, that's kind of annoying. We're going to, I'm actually just going to put this line of code in below because I, you know what? This is interesting. I haven't. Oh, we're just we're just gonna hide it. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a we're gonna make a change to this again, and I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna call this test one. And again, we've got this equal to test one. Now you'll notice that there is a, there is comment is not equal to nothing, and the value is greater than one. So I'm going to add that. Let's just highlight over this bad boy. Come on. Let's edit the comment. And you will notice that it did exactly what I said it to do. But what it did not do is it did not keep that other line. So we're going to do VB new line, which is going to take give me a new line. And we are going to add the current text. Um, that's funny. And we are almost done, which is pretty awesome. I'm going to come over here. It added that. It's totally fine. I'm going to come in here and put test 2. I'm going to hit, hit enter. It's going to check with that. We It should actually give us, if we edit this, that is correct. So it is giving us some version control in there, which is awesome. It actually shows us who actually made that change. It's pretty darn cool. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to, I'm going to, uh, we're going to run through this. I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to try multiple cells. So I'm going to do this is, this is test, test one, enter. Notice it adds a comment, which is great. And now I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to paste and you'll notice that it goes through both of those. Um, now the problem is, is it also does copy that, um, that comment and it added to that comment as well. But if you were copying and pasting to this um, from a blank 
Oops, something that was blank. So if we did that, and did that, that's going to have a comment. And if we highlight over those, it's going to give those. It actually gives you exactly what you're looking for. So that's a, a really a, a kind of a cool way to do subversion control. Again, this came from my channel. Um, someone was asking how to do this. He was getting two specific errors. Um, and before I started this, I actually didn't know why he was getting those errors. The reason he was getting those errors is because he wasn't taking into consideration the um, that the comment wasn't there, which is why he was getting a you know kind of the uh, the object doesn't exist error. Um, but this is a good this is a good little piece of code. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you can use it. If you have not subscribed to my Everyday VBA channel, please do that. Leave your comments. Leave your likes. Hope you enjoyed.